Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And today we are trying out brunch at Bardo Brasserie here in Aria. We have been here before for dinner and appetizers and drinks, so it's a place we like, but we've never tried brunch here before. So let's go. Here we go. Alright, deviled eggs and steak tartare. We haven't had this for a while. No, Never had deviled eggs in Vegas, actually. I don't, nope, I think we, have, right. we have Bouchon. Oh, Bouchon. Yeah. I was like, we have somewhere, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this up. So it's a deviled egg. Um, you can see there's a little bit of yolk that they put on the bottom to make it stick. Caviar on top, and then just, I'm not sure what the green is. I'm gonna think like some type of onion. I was gonna say it's five. Yeah. Very delicious. Good. Super Good. creamy. Um, not grainy in any way. Mm -mm. Just the right amount as well. Like it is a bite, one yeah. full bite. It's not a huge egg, but which is yeah, it's perfect. Easier to eat. Mm -hmm. You're gonna try that. Did you get much out of the caviar? No, I'll I actually, up because yeah. I think it's the salt of all of it. Yeah. I mean, most deviled eggs have some salt on them anyhow. But you think of like more briny, salty caviar, and it, it was actually very subtle. Um, all right, let's do some steak tartare. It does come with potato chip, which is one of my favorite ways to eat steak tartare, along with white bread, which is like under toasted. They look like homemade potato chips. Yeah. So there oh. is, you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff on there. Um, egg yolk, bunch of spices, pickles. I've never seen the pickles before. Is that like a fried onion on top of our drink? It looks like one. So this going to be interesting. You just dip it in, right? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, you're doing that way. Yeah. Okay. It I seems a little easier. There's some fresh greens on there too. The meat is super tender, easy to eat, not chewy in any sense. Um, to me, the pickle stands out. The pickle does stand mm -hmm. out in a great way. Yeah, though. it's really good. It's just one of those like flavors you're like, oh yeah, there's a pickle yeah. on there. <laughs> Decent amount of acid in that. Right. And those potato chips are, I could eat The potato this. chips are great. Uh -huh. It adds a layer of saltiness that is just fantastic. I mean, who doesn't like a homemade potato chip? Right? Whew. The setup is ready. I think I'm going to try the bacon first. So All when right. they offered us bacon, or when we ordered bacon, they said there's two kinds, crispy or thick cut. Yes. And so I said thick cut. <laughs> it is the biggest bacon I've ever seen. It's like if you get pork belly, but cooked like bacon. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Super good. Mm -hmm. So we got this because I was nervous. This French toast is legit. <laughs> It's as big as your coffee cup, high. Yeah. And it's gonna be sweet, so I wanted something salty. It I think this will nice do. Salt to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What'd you get? I got the croque madame uh, with hash browns. There was an option of salad or hash browns. These are like hash brown bricks. This is like an almond brittle that's stuck into the mm. French toast. It's really good. Lots of cheese. The bread on this is super flaky, almost like a croissant. Check out the amount of butter. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like so soft, it's whipped butter. Mm. That's a very strong cheese on this croque madame. What kind of cheese? I don't know, okay. but it's very strong. It's very good. The so, ham tastes good. 
But that cheese is what's pronounced on here. Very pronounced. I can definitely tell this is a brioche bread because it, uh, it just cuts so easy. Once you get to this inside, it's so soft. I think mine's a croissant. Okay. Do you want to take a bite of this? Sure. I have a bite right there. Okay. It just falls this, apart. Yeah. No, it, it actually really falls apart much more than I expected it to. Because you see something this large, which I'm trying to think. It's, it's like if you put four soda cans together or something. It's big. Yeah. Um, that bread is very soft. It's not heavy. I was expecting that to be a super heavy dish. Yeah, that it is like a flaky bread. Yeah. So it's not like a, a toast like you normally see. I'm nervous about this bite. Where's the whip? <laughs> what was that? Way too big. <laughs> I got you a nice dainty piece. <laughs> yeah, but you had to get all of it. That was like a whole pack of ham. So for me, the ham was the pronounced one. Oh, okay. It was also that much ham. Yeah, it was very thick. Um, definitely large portions. You're you're gonna be full off of this stuff. Absolutely. I can say that. just wrapped up here at Bardot for brunch. What did you think about it? It was heavy. <laughs> so heavy. Yes. Yeah. Our, our main dishes ate super, super heavy and I think yeah. we feel it right now. Yeah. Um, what was your favorite dish? My favorite dish, I will have to say, I was kind of shocked, it was the steak tartare. I agree. Delicious. Yeah. It was actually the last item we ordered, mm -hmm. um, but I think that it had the best flavor overall. It wasn't heavy. Yeah. Um, it had like salty. It had sour it had acid yeah. it, it really had everything in one bite um, it had good texture because of the potato chips yeah I think that was, was the best one dish. overall would you say that you would come back I, I would not um, yeah. and that's just for brunch we really have liked Bardo and so that's the thing but for brunch no uh, we were discussing that like there's so many options to eat yeah. for areas I mean from pastries to true full-on meals to then having lunch early. And we did, I don't think I'd come back for brunch. No, and the crook madame was actually one of the more disappointing things. Mm -hmm. And I know that you had got more flavor out of the cheese, which we did find out it was a brie, but I, I didn't get a lot of the flavor out of that. And also we've had different ones here in town, like at Bouchon or um, Jardin, where the, the ham was just so strong so in, a, in a good way. Yeah. Um, and this one, it just, it missed the mark. The the French toast also, which is like in a lot of their advertisements and stuff, was super heavy. Like the heaviest thing you've ever eaten. Yeah, I will have to say though, I do did like the flavor of the French toast. It has yes. more of that almond yep. flavor than the maple syrupy flavor. Uh, so the almond piece to me was very but, good. But get one piece, share it with your table of six. Yeah. Like Don't intend to eat all of it. It would be too much. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All our links are down below. Thank you.